Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Ruling the Cloud. Goodbye. <laughs> so, uh, I kind of felt like I needed to put out an episode. It's been a, it's been a while since I've actually played. And, uh, we're starting out here together. I'm actually working on a video that I want to do for this series here, uh, which may come out in a little bit. But for now, we're going to do a bit of practicing with this right here. Hello. <laughs> Come on. That's right. We're gonna. Uh, when I was farming for the wither skulls, I, I found out you could do this. Haha! -ha, jackpot. I also forgot my fortune pick. Uh, sword. No, not fortune. Looting. Looting sword. But I guess we don't really need it. Um, but uh, the latest project that we've built on the server is Zaf's 2.0, which is still very much incomplete. We have the inside still to do. But that actually took a decent chunk out of my quartz supply, which is why we're here in the nether today. We're going to go around and kind of do a bit of farming. I just want to get the coordinates real quick. Alright, good enough. Because I actually don't know where these are exactly. So we're just going to kind of go around all over the place. Maybe generate some new areas, find ourselves a, uh, a f uh, fortress. Well, it really has been a long time since I played this. But we're also going to farm up some of those, um, not withers, uh, not creepers, uh, ghasts. Uh, we're going to farm the ghasts using the, of course, this bow, or not bow, <laughs> fishing rod. And there is that there. But I do, of course, have a bow, just in case. Just such an occasion like this thing. They're hiding from me. They have, uh, it's, a, it's an infinity bow with uh, power and punch. So, there we go. They won't be a problem for us. And we have a good amount of food. I brought three silk touch, or two silk touch, no, no, it was three, three silk touch picks. I'll be using this pick here, the fortune one with efficiency and I'm breaking to farm up the majority of the nether. This one will be the next one in that order. And then these two, I'm just going to kind of save for farming up as much of quartz as we can find. Hello. I'm going to save that there. That's actually a really cool spot. I like saving just kind of odd things in the world that I could eventually come back and just build like a small building for. If I had a single player series, that's definitely what I would do, just all kind of all over the world. So we have a little fortress down there. We're going to go get some more quartz. So today's episode will mostly be found, uh, focusing on gathering materials and fighting gas. So there'll be a lot of cutting and a fair decent amount of me talking, I suppose. Geronimo! Shh. Don't worry, I have a potion. <laughs> this is just to get around. Because there's honestly quite a bit of lava around here. I'm still going to have to be careful, though. I only have one more potion on me at the moment. Um, I was actually thinking about what the last thing I did was to get quartz, and I actually did like a form of speed mining. I just kind of went to one spot and just mined out as much as I could really fast in like one spot, basically. So basically using like a, an efficiency pick like this, I just... And this fire is very much annoying. Please go away! It's making it hard to see. There we go. Should be okay. A little bit more. Perfect. There we go. Ooh, I hear our next target! And he's gone. Never mind. How long is this thing gonna last? Uh, seven more minutes. Okay. Let us cross the Red Sea. You know, thinking about how potions are, they should have the timers on the screen rather than in your inventory. Like, even in just like the top left hand corner or something, like a small icon with a timer next to it. Let's see if I can pull him up. He's a little too far from me to pull. He'll probably shoot me when I get to the land, though. He's about to shoot me in three, two, one. Ha! Okay, never mind. He's ignoring me. Uh, wow, that actually took me quite a bit of time to cross. Ooh, but we see some more quartz. Exactly what we're looking for. And I believe I mentioned this when I was actually building Zaf's 2.0. A chest full of quartz stacks, like ores, really doesn't go as far as you would think. I'm thinking I'm gonna do a double check, a double chest full of quartz blocks, which is 
uh, essentially nine quarts, or is it four? I think it's four. Four quarts per block, 64 in a stack, and then a double chest filled will probably, it should have a lot more than a simple, because with one stack you, you could get three or less, like two, three pieces I think of quartz. Okay, let's test it out. Let's see what happens if I use this. Oh, I should eat. Or I'm gonna die. Let's test it out over here. So let's see. I mine out a single piece. How many quartz do I get? One. And that's with a fortune one pick. Uh, I got two from that. So essentially, it's not a guaranteed every time it'll be four. Or more, even. I don't even think it might, it might not even be as many as I think it is. So... Uh, realistically, I should put another potion on my bar in case this runs out while I'm doing this. It's probably more efficient, as in you'll have more resources to have them in uh, stacks. It'll cost more, but that way I have more resources available for me for when we do some more building. Which is the whole reason we're doing this. This, this is Essentially, this is my build process. Whenever I'm on a server... Um, I build something small, like I maybe just dig a hole in the ground, like the basic starter house, minus my uh, traditional log house, which I actually built later. And that's why I, I broke this to begin with, what you just saw. Uh, it's because to test it, even though I'm mining this stuff with a silk touch, I'm going to accidentally break a few with a regular pick. And I know it. Uh, back in, getting back to what we were talking about a second ago. So as I was saying, you, I basically, the way I start out my build process, I make a little house, a starter house, I find a, a place to call my home temporarily. Uh, this may involve me building like a giant uh, place, like the, uh, the, the outpost where I'm going to collect my stained uh, clay, which was just a, a build project because I hadn't built, up to that point, I had rarely built anything on the server, and I was in like a really big building mood, and I, after looking at all these builds on the reddits and stuff, I was like, oh man, I gotta build. Uh, no more, no more holding back. But for the most part, the way I like doing it is I like building straight. I don't like stopping. Uh, I'm really bad at doing multiple projects at once. I tend to try and finish one project in a single go. I may attempt to do side projects during it, but for the most part, they'll be smaller projects. They won't be like big side projects, and I will finish them as well, probably before getting back to the main project as a form of a break. But before I even get to the big project, um, little project aside, I would gather resources like crazy, like the whole play thing we started with the underground mine, uh, strip mine on this server. Just even the last server, me getting the iron and then just digging and all the other series I've done, I've basically started with mining. Now you're thinking, oh, this is the traditional way you play the game. This is what you're supposed to do. You gather and then you build your house. No, I, I go a step further. I gather up to the point where I would be set for building and I could, even though I just one build, it would be just like, I would get make a giant haul of chests fill them completely and then build and then move anything else that's left over after I build whatever it is I'm building and you're, you're still thinking oh but that's normal that's a normal process yeah yes and no but you kind of have to see what I mean like I'm, I'm gonna gather I have built with it already but I'm gonna gather like a couple of double chests filled with just quartz blocks which I obviously won't need for a single build depending on how big it is but I'll be set for quite a while what are we looking at on time? Oh, we got one more minute, okay. That means no more crossing the lava for a bit. We're just going to stay on the land and gather the quartz this way. Fortunately, we still haven't seen a ghast, except for those two when we passed, but they kind of despawned. But I'm just going to keep going. Oh, I think we got our next target. And he's coming down for us. <laughs> I guess it's... Hmm. The hitbox is kind of weird. I, I, it looks like I'm hitting those things directly. Oh, that one hit directly. Haha! -ha! Comboed him. That was close. I almost got shot. Bye. Nice. I wonder if you could put looting on a fishing rod, and I wonder if that would work. I'm going to have to try that in the future. 
This seems like a nice place to keep farming. Now we do, I have run across quite a bit of glowstone, but I'm going to focus on just getting quartz because that's all we need. I, I didn't burn through my glowstone supply. I still have lots of stacks of that. I would like a double chest full of stacks of glowstone, but that's probably a little too extreme and I don't think I'd actually use all of that ever. So we're just going to focus on gathering some quartz. And if we ever really need some more, we can always come back and get it. And I'm hoping we get another little ghast buddy so we can practice our technique. Hmm. <laughs> oh, a fortress. I'll check that out in a second. <laughs> Just here to get the goods. There we go. That's all we needed. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's head over to this fortress. Um, hmm. Oh. There isn't really... I think that's our best bet to get over there. Over there. Let's head on over. Get myself a pearl stack. And let's go. Oh, we actually have two fortresses. There's, there's one over there, and then there's this one here. Um, I'm going to mark this out so I know that there's one this way. And we're going to explore this one. This one actually might already be explored. I'm pretty far out. I don't think it would have been, but hey, you never know, right? Let's see what we're going to find in here. Ooh, oh, I didn't bring my looting sword, did I? Damn it. Okay. We can't really, <laughs> can't really farm for um, wither skulls. Oh, we're on a staircase. Oh, another chest. Oh, another wall. Yes, we will see what's inside the chest. Of course, I'm not going to look inside it. That would be silly. Why would I not do that? The bad thing about looking through chests in this place is I will very rapidly have a full inventory in no time. Hello. As I do currently. Let's just see. Look, I got some uh, diamonds, which are nice, and some nice horse armor. Which is good. We're just gonna drop off a bunch of unnecessary. Well, it doesn't make a difference. That. That's the building. Good. And we're very rapidly running out of room in our inventory, so we're gonna have to put down our ender chest soon. Not now, but soon to transport some of this stuff. I really, like, I knew I'd find one, two maybe, but I had no intention of fully exploring these places. Ooh, more diamond. But the diamond is just, I can't turn it up. Unfortunately, I can't turn up the horse armor either. I actually really, really like the horse armor. And I will take it every time I see it. This place is gigantic. Go away, you. I'm exploring here. There's a uh, spawner over there, and it looks like there's another one over there. And this place is actually over lava. Aren't they building a good farm for uh, Wither Knights? So this place probably doesn't have much of a purpose to me. So I'm going to just get rid of that. Goodbye. Oh, looks like we have a visitor. Hello. You see me yet? Not exactly in the most ideal place to drop his stuff. Come on. Yes! Perfect spot. Shoot me! Shoot me! I'm gonna pull you too. Good to know. Oh, don't wanna pull you toward me. Go away. Oh, no, go away. No, go away! That's it. I said go away! There we go. Okay, we're getting in the clear. Come on down. I know you see me. Come on. Come on, you see me. Come on! That's it. You know what? You're not getting away from me. I ain't letting you get away from me. Just keep that. You're not gonna escape that easily. Get over here! This guy is just ignoring me! I almost hit them. Looks like he doesn't want any part of me. Oh, that continues up here. Good to know. Come on. Shoot me. Shoot me. Oh. 
I wonder if I can get it on the rebound. Huh. Got it. Rebound! Nope, that's not that way. <laughs> Moving out of the way. I should put some battle music to this. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Yes! Germany dodged it! This is relaxing. 